Alright, today we're working on a 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel, uh, 2003 LB7. And we're losing power steering fluid, so we're going to try and figure out what's going on. I've added some UV dye to the system, cleaned off the underside of the truck, and I drove it around for a couple minutes, so we're going to go ahead and look for the leak. So this UV dye, you use a UV light and it kind of makes it stand out a little bit. So when I hit this UV light up here, you can kind of see that green, those green drips out right up there. It's in between the master cylinder and the hydro booster. It's a very common problem on these trucks. We're going to go ahead and show you how to fix this. So to start off with, you just want to get up in the truck and pump the brake pedal a few times to blow off some of that residual pressure. Now we need to go ahead and remove the master cylinder from the hydro boost that we have uh, John over here cranking off these bolts. Uh, there's two 15 millimeter nuts, one on each side, so we're just going to go ahead and remove those. Alright, now you can see we've got these nuts off of the uh, master cylinder off. We're going to go ahead and remove this line, this line, and this line. So with this line here, you just grab some pliers, squeeze that clip, slide it up, and then pull the line off. This one over here used an 18 millimeter wrench, and then this one here used a 15 millimeter wrench. So you're just going to go ahead and pull the lines out of the hydro, hydro boost unit just like that. Now coming up under the dash, there's going to be four nuts that we need to remove. One here, here, another one up there, and then one right up over here that you can't really see where I am. Um, but right over here, like I said, there's four of them. They're 15 millimeters. Just go ahead and use a deep well socket and go ahead and remove those. Now you need to remove the uh, brake pedal switch and as well as the retaining clip off of the uh, brake pedal right here. So this uh, little rod would be right up on there like this and then the uh, thing would be right in there like that and then there'd be a clip on it. So you just go ahead and remove it. Uh, use a flathead screwdriver. This is the clip. So it'll be just like that. You'll pop it out and then it'll come right off. And then you can slide this stuff right on off of this shaft right here. So you want to go ahead and remove this. And now we're good to go ahead and start removing our uh, hydro boost. Now what you're going to go ahead and do is kind of pull out on the hydro boost, twist it about a 90 degree angle while pulling the master cylinder a little bit away from the hydro boost. And it's going to come out as one assembly. We've got it over here on a, on a tray that you'd maybe get at uh, your finest fast food restaurant with our wonderful uh, spokesperson Steven over here kind of showing us off but here we got our hydro boost we're going to go ahead and take it over to the bench clean it up and work on uh, replacing that seal now we need to actually split the hydro boost apart so we're using an E12 uh, socket it's going to be a female socket it's going to be the one special tool that the average person might not have it's basically a inverse star key and we're going to go ahead and remove these bolts all the way around so uh, it'll kind of look right like that right there um, so we're just going to remove these all the way around and that's going to split this hydro boost apart. So now we have our uh, man Steven here. We've got all the bolts to this. We're just going to go ahead and split, split it apart. Take special note of how this comes apart. So go ahead Steven and pull it apart. Would you look at that? Would you just look at that? And he's going to try and keep everything in a line. You can see there's a spring somewhere right over here. And he's just going to pull everything apart trying to keep as much of it together as possible. You see one more spring and then once he has this all the way out he's just going to go ahead and set that part of it down and we're going to try and keep this piece together because we're going to be working over here with this piece now the seal that's causing the leak is located right down there so i'm just going to go ahead and use a pick and pull that seal out so as we're pulling it out take special note of which way the seal is actually facing because there is a wrong way to install this so I just kind of use this pick, fished around, careful not to damage anything, and just pull up on it. And just like that, that's the seal that's causing you the problem. So we got the new seal here over on the left, and the old one on the right. We're going to take a little power steering fluid, go around the edge of the seal, just to kind of get it a little lubricated, and then we're going to install it into the new hydro boost. So we got John and Steven here helping us again, and uh, like I said, first you want to clean all your surfaces, as John was just demonstrating. Now what you're going to go ahead and do is drop the green spring over here into there and then this right here yellow spring down into here this i would keep on make sure it's in between the two tabs which are located right down in there and then you're just going to kind of put the whole unit right back together as you can see we have our wonderful uh helper here john helping us out today we've got the unit bolted back together torque to spec if you're wondering what spec is it's uh half past tight 
And now we're just going to go ahead and put it right back up in the truck. And here we have uh, Mr. Steven helping us out. We're going to put those four uh, booster bolts back in and then we're going to put that clip to the brake pedal. Coming around to the front here where we have Assistant John over here. You can see we have now placed the booster up against the uh, bulkhead. Or if you're only like myself, we call it the firewall. We're going to go ahead and get that master cylinder bolted right on up to that uh, booster. Now we've got some fresh power steering fluid. We're going to go ahead and add it and we need to bleed the hydro boost. All right, now that we got everything kind of buttoned back up together, we got our uh, product demonstrator. Jonathan over here, he's going to go ahead and start up the diesel. And now he's going to go ahead and turn the wheel all the way to the left. Would you look at that? And all the way to the right, John. And now straighten it back out. I go ahead and shut the vehicle off, John. Pump that brake pedal five times. Now go ahead and start it back up. Now turn it all the way to the left. All the way to the right. Straighten it back out. Shut it off. And pump that pedal five times. Go ahead and start it back up. And we're going to go ahead and repeat this process two more times. And now while he's doing that, I'm just up here checking out the Hydro Boost, making sure we don't have any leaks. And we are definitely good to go. And now you just top off the fluid over here in your power steering reservoir until it's at the uh, low line if it's uh, cold. And then uh, after you're done bleeding, you're good to go as long as you got a firm brake pedal and power steering.